Institute here in Vermont. It is spring. It is the month of April right now. And this is a continuation of my edible plants series. And what we have before me here is the wild leek. And the wild leek is a wonderful um, spring edible. And as you can see, it grows in uh, nice quantities all through the forest land. Um, it prefers nice, deep, rich, wet soil to grow in. Uh, you won't find this growing in areas where it's very dry. It really likes its feet wet. Hairless leaves. And they have a very light vein or texture to them. And on the underside, you'll see they have one main rib line going right down center. If we zoom into the bottom here, you'll notice that the bottoms of the plants normally, not always, but normally have a uh, kind of a, a burgundy or reddish brown uh, coloration to the stem. Okay, and then it fades into a nice bright green, smooth, kind of waxy textured leaf. And when you rub the leaf and then you smell your hands, it smells just like onions. Uh, sometimes it smells a little bit like garlic. And that's how you can positively identify it. If it does not smell like onion or garlic, it is not wild leek. See, now some right here growing right next to the ones I just showed you. If you look at their bases, they do not have the reddish texture or the reddish color to them, okay? They're bright green all the way down from the top of the leaf to the soil. Whereas right next door, you've got the leaves that have the reddish, reddish base. Okay, same plant, wild leek. Now the leaf is edible right off of the plant. You can pick these and eat them raw, put them in your salads, chop them up, whatever you want to. They're delicious. A little bit goes a long way. It's like an onion, like a green onion. But uh, sometimes they can be kind of hard to get to because they're pretty deep. You have to dig pretty good. And uh, I just happened to find myself a, an old uh, deer, white-tailed deer shoulder blade right here. Makes a great digging tool. You can use a knife, a uh, digging stick, whatever you have. You can use your hands if you want to, uh, especially in the spring when it's quite muddy. But, what happens is, you dig up this right here. All right, you got your long waxy leaves, you got your white stem, and that white bulb at the base. And the whole thing smells just like an onion. And like I said, sometimes garlic as well. And that is your wild leek. You can lightly steam these if you want to, but I myself prefer them uh, raw, right out of the ground. There is nothing on here that is poisonous. And like I said, if it smells like an onion and it looks like this, it's a leek. You can't mistake it for anything else. So, again, this is White Wolf at Ways of the Wild Institute. If you want to learn more about this in great detail, along with any other wilderness survival skill or native medicine ways, come on up. Join us. Visit the website, waysofthewildinstitute.com. Enjoy your spring.